in this video by CCTV Camera World, we show how you can actually access an IP camera directly from your laptop using an Ethernet port. So what I've got here is I got my IP camera right there. It's a PoE camera by Avalon. It's one of our premium series of cameras. We've got a PoE injector plugged into power. The PoE output coming from the injector is going into the camera's PoE port. It does have a 12 volt DC port here. We don't use that, but don't cut that off. And then you've got a data connection going from the PoE injector into the network port on the laptop. Most modern laptops don't have a built-in network card, so you'll need to use some sort of a USB-C or USB dongle. And this one in particular um, just happens to provide three USB ports and a network interface. And you know you have your camera connected and this dongle is actually active because you'll see green and amber lights on it. Most Windows laptops that are newer should have Windows 11 and that's what this video focuses on, how to use Windows 11. So let's say I'm trying to access my camera. If I were to connect a camera with this IP address that I set it to, I know I configured this camera to this on my, by myself. Pretend you got it. You go to a Windows command prompt. If you don't know how to do that, you just press the Windows key, type in CMD, and that's the command prompt. You click on that here. We'll open up this window like so. So in my case, I'm gonna type in the command ping and then the IP address that's written on the box. If your computer was able to talk to it, it should be saying reply something something. In my case, I'm getting request timed out and you're gonna get that unless you're on the same network. So that's the purpose of this video to show you how to get your dongle and your laptop to talk to the camera. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go into control panel on the computer. So you hit the start key and type in control panel. So you open up control panel and then the top right, you can just type in network. And then on the top left, you'll start seeing something called network and sharing center. Click on that. Then click on change adapter settings. In here, first find your Wi-Fi network, disable it, right click and disable it. Now you'll not have internet. On the ethernet one, click on properties and then go into that, that one there. It says internet protocol version four, double click on that. Then manually specify an IP address. So click on use the following IP address and type in the IP address that matches the form that your camera has. So in my case, I'm typing 10.1.1.50, some arbitrary number. Or just press tab first and then what you get is this automatically filled out, leave it alone, press okay. Let's see if it lets you exit it and it will. Press okay one more time. And then it'll continue to say unidentified, unidentified network, leave that alone. Let's go to the command prompt. And then I'm going to use the up arrow key to reprint the command that I used last, which was ping space 10.1.1.85. That's the IP address of the camera that I should be using. Now I get a reply from, instead of request timed out. That's what I needed. Now I can talk to my camera. Now I can access the camera's web interface. So I open up Edge. I already have it in the background. And I type in the IP address 10.1.1. One dot eighty five and hit enter and it loads the web page for the camera. Now I'm going to type in the username and password for the camera. It's admin and the password can be found on the box. If you don't know it, you can always email us to find out what the password is for your camera. Just one second before we proceed, I do want to show you that this password we set, what we have and what we know of is what we set on the camera. If you change your password and you're following this video for some other reason, you'll have to know your password. If you don't know it, you can hit the forget button, which is right here, and follow the instructions that come after that. I'm not gonna get into that right now. So I'm gonna type in my password again. Enter into the camera's web interface. And the web interface lets you actually watch the camera's video feed live that's coming from the camera. I got it in my hand, I'm moving it around, and you can see it's pretty much live video feed. Go under settings. If you're trying to connect this camera, let's say to an old NVR from 
QC or Lorex or whomever, you'll want to go under system, safety, under protocol, set to this compatibility mode. By default, it's going to be in security mode. All new cameras use that. So what you want to do is come to safety, set it to compatible mode, hit save, wait for the save succeeded message to appear. That means it did take the setting. Go back to safety and it says compatible mode. You're all set. Now what we do is don't do anything else. Take the camera with the 10.1.1.85 IP address, plug it into your NVR and it should fire right up. You may just have to enter the password on the camera by using the edit button in the connections list on your NVR to get the camera to connect to your NVR. That's pretty much it. Now, this method to recap showed you how you can access your camera, a PoE camera from Avalonix, directly through a PoE injector that's connected to a network port in your laptop or desktop. Windows PC that's running Windows 11. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.